We are back in Osaka, Japan, looking for guitars as always. Let's see what we can find. So a few months back in November, we got the chance to come to Osaka while we were out here playing some shows. And we got to shop for guitars for just a few hours and we were like blown away by how much cool stuff is out here. Um, we checked out a Kiwi store out here, we checked at Ishibashi, a bunch of other stuff, and we found a few cool guitars while we were at it. We wanted to spend more time, but that's all the time we had on that trip. Now that we're back, we actually have a whole day and a little bit of tomorrow to do some shopping around here. So. We're gonna get started and check out all the great shops in this general area. So we're gonna try and hit 20 stores today as there's literally that many within a pretty close radius. So let's see what we can find. If we do 20 stores in one day, that would be a, that would be a record for filming, yes. I think I've maybe been to, well, I've never been to 20 guitar stores in one day, but I've maybe been to 20 like thrift stores and pawn shops and guitar stores in one day, but not filming because it, it takes longer when we film. Each stop will probably be a little bit more brief than you're used to with our other videos. Some of them might be pretty quick. And we'll just give you a quick recommendation on our thoughts on that store. The first stop is a shop that we have been to before, and that is the Akibi Premium Guitars location. So let's go check it out. <laughs> Sounds crazy, but on this trip so far, we've almost bought like too much high-end stuff, which is never a problem. But it's funny, there's a lot of like not as expensive guitars that I've been after, and I haven't really found any of those, but all the more like premium stuff I've been finding. Cool. Not like crazy, but like within the realm of Fender Japan, there's a lot of stuff that I was looking for that we'll be able to sell at a really moderate price. And I haven't been finding that stuff as much, but I've been finding like the really crazy stuff. I don't like Schecter, but these are cool. This one too. Super high spec guitar. He mentioned the tuning is not super stable right now, so we need to set that up accordingly. Kaylee is shaking her head, or at least was. They're all new, right? Yeah. Oh, there's more of those. You get some more uh, tones. Possible fresh find for Thomas? Maybe. I'm on the hunt for a base.
super successful stop. We got four guitars in there, so that was pretty cool. We got three Ibanez guitars and a Yamaha, so mixing it up a little bit. I think this definitely met my criteria on uh, specifically for the Yamaha and one of the Ibanez guitars of stuff that is not as pricey, but still really, really good, as there's a lot of that stuff in Japan, so that was a win. And then the 2J Customs are obviously very high-end guitars, but great stop. Almost got a bunch of other stuff, but we weren't able to work out the logistics of actually getting it back. So, uh, good mix of used yeah. New. yeah, good mix of used and new. The new floor was crazy. Wish we could have done a little bit more there, but uh, it's all good. We have up to 19 more shops left, so. Uh, no base. No base? They couldn't ship it, and it didn't wow me right off the bat, so it was gonna be too inconvenient, so. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll find something somewhere else. We should note for our viewers abroad, uh, we're not me we're not shipping these straight back to the U.S. We're shipping them to someone else in Tokyo. So if they can't do that, then it's kind of hard to get stuff back. Some some shops will ship for you, but uh, we usually just ship domestically here and then go from there. Bulk ship back to the states. Bulk ship, yeah. That's how we get the economy of scale. On to the next one. On to the next. If you're gonna walk right into something, there you go. Oh, yeah. I mean, I know we already bought one of those, but. You never have to. Man, I'm not usually huge on uh, that type of red, but I really like that. It is a Fender 50s Heritage Telecaster, which means it has a nitro finish, which is very rare for Fender Japan. I like this pink. I've got a couple of these, they're, they're cool. It, it can provide better intonation and better tuning stability because it's like a higher mass bridge. Um, some people don't like how they, but they definitely, I said this, they absolutely change the tone. Some people like it, some people don't. It's definitely up to personal preference if you want that. This extra is very, very cool. That's nitro. Probably 90s if I had to guess. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, I mean, it's probably been out for a while now, but I remember when they announced that. I'm pretty sure that's his new line. So, as always, Ishibashi had some awesome guitars. They get some really cool Fender Japan exclusives, which, you know, we're looking for, um, as well as a bunch of cool Gibsons and uh, some other stuff. So, they had two guitars that I was pretty interested in, but we couldn't get the logistics sorted for getting them back to Tokyo. So, we weren't able to grab them, but if uh, we don't find something else in the same ballpark today or tomorrow, maybe we'll grab it before we head to the Shinkansen. You know what guitar I eventually want? That red J45, the wine red. That's a little bright. I usually hate those guards, but there's something about when it's on the wine red one that I'm like, it's just a classy guitar. Absolutely crazy. I wanted all the Gibson acoustics for myself, but uh, found the cars today. Next shop. This this is in a Chris Brown video. I was gonna say, I feel like I remember them talking to some locals here. Yeah. They were asking about uh, like slang or something to yeah. the younger generation stuff. That's so It's funny. different in Osaka. Anyway, it's Sect Street. We only go to one in Chimukirizawa, but we're in Osaka right now. Let's see if Alex gets lucky at this one. I love it. This is the smallest fork I've ever seen from Orange. Two sides, isn't it? Two sides. <laughs> oh, and there's a matching head. <laughs> End of that. I'm not sure that's something we're going to be grabbing, but it's pretty cool. It's cool. 
another black explorer. We'll let it slip away, but really cool. I saw you guys on a YouTube video actually last week. I was trying to research like a suck of guitar stuff. Oh, nice. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Heck yeah. I'm doing another uh, buying trip, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for watching, man. That's crazy. Oh, right. It's a small world. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'll check them That's out. we're taking yeah, a look awesome, at, man. yeah. And the one in the, um, in the mall, is that the one that had the, uh, they got like a Tower Records there as well? Is yes, right? absolutely, yeah. 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 Cool. Right. Yeah, Dude, good. yeah, likewise, cheers. Actual 59 Epiphone. That's a big old maybe. So is uh, the color is just really cool. It's a 66, which is not the year they always reissue. We do the MG69 and the MG65, but the MG66 is a little less common. This is going to become the green guitar from all the same as just following us around. So you got, you got the nice Coca-Cola red, and then they kind of throw in an Easter egg here with the cherry Coca-Cola flavor in the speaker. Oh my god. Lava Master. There's this Kyari RSL, which is like a 60s reissue of like almost like a B25, which is really cool. Not a fancy guitar, but it's just, I don't know. I like the black finish on it, it's cool. So I'm seeing a couple here that I'm pretty into, um, but it's not necessarily stuff that we haven't seen other examples of. Uh, so I think we're gonna press on, but I may come back and grab a couple, which I usually don't do, um, but we just have so many shops ahead of us, I don't wanna get too carried away too quickly. They lie. Maybe they just came out. I think, I mean, these did just drop this so. one. <laughs> I always want what's not tagged. Oh. I only have a less called classic. I can always ask. Oh, I, I've got it ready to go and translate. This looks like a sword from. Final Fantasy or something. <laughs> Final Fantasy key time. Roll and system eight. Does it plug into all those things there? I couldn't even begin to tell you. My <laughs> brain does not comprehend all of this. <laughs> Analog things? Yeah. It's a mouse. That's crazy. <laughs> All the brands here are like, uh, how to put it, they're like more boutique type stuff, replicating the kind of classic American brands, but they don't sell like Fender or Gibson specifically. There's a comparison, everybody. I had neither. Superior drummer. We've got Superior Drummer locked and loaded. On the Roland TV, guys. Oh, does it have triggers on it? Yeah. Oh, that's, oh, that's so cool. Look at that. And they got it on the computer there, too. That's really cool. Man, Superior Drummer changed things for me and Eric. I can say that. Our, me, and, uh, me, him, and our friend Bobby would, were getting really into recording stuff when we were teenagers, and it was so hard, of course, to get good drum sounds with no budget, but then Superior Drummer came around and all of a sudden we could do like heavy drums that sounded good. That's cool. I can't play it properly with this, but that's so cool. I mean, that makes total sense. Uh, even their doorstop is like a box. Uh... <laughs> They're all about the branding here. Box doorstop. <laughs> so uh, we just left Music Land Key. They had a bunch of cool stuff in there, uh, a lot of new stuff from what we were seeing. This shop kind of had the largest selection of electronics uh, that we saw today so far. But other than that, I don't believe that there was really anything that uh, caught Alex's eye as far as bringing back for the shop. We're going to go back to the hotel, get checked in, get all uh, cozied up, maybe showered up, freshened up, see what the rest of the night has in store for us. Probably hit some more shops. Miss that fresh find. 
we've made it to the loft, which is kind of like a mall area, and on the eighth floor. There we go. Some cool stuff from Nash made its way over here. Super nice 69 Mustang base. Um, with the new Hybrid 2 line, they use this logo, which is the lower end. That's usually the logo that they use on um, the standard series stuff, but it, the Hybrid 2 is supposed to be kind of a vintage modern collab, so it, it's just not my favorite that they chose that logo. I think what they were doing before was cooler, where it had the vintage style logo, but then it like, had like the modern specs. The jazz bass. 32 inch scale. Well. Yeah, we. We got had on one of those recently. Ooh, and they got a cool Fuji Gentelli. FGN. They got, oh, that's so sick. You can just buy Megami wire. Jimmy Wallace has made his way. Oh, they've got a lot of Jimmy Wallace stuff. I should text him and say you're a worldwide man. That was a very successful stop. Picked up three guitars. We got a Fender Japan Hybrid 2 Jazzmaster in Walnut with the matching headstock. So that was very exciting to find. Also got a really cool Fujigen FGN Tele style guitar with a humbucker in the neck and Snowcore on the bridge, which is always a cool setup. And a Fender JB62M, which is a medium scale, 32 inch scale jazz bass, which I know a lot of you guys are looking for. So now we have one. Last time we were in Japan, <laughs> I found what was marked as a ST, which one was it? It was basically, it was marked as a medium scale Strat and I didn't uh, look it over too much. I, we bought it and we brought it back. It ended up not being medium scale, so that was a bummer. But now I checked this one, it's definitely medium scale and it felt right, so yeah. We're bringing it back. On to the next one, which is another Ishibashi. There he is. Did not think we'd be back so soon, but here we are. What an insane lineup. Ooh. The JB66 is not cheap, but that is really cool and really rare. That's the only thing so far that I'm like glass and blue FSR. Got some cool acoustics. We knocked two out. We got three guitars, so that's not bad. It sounds like it's dinner time. That was Takeoff. Very cool, smaller store. You can tell it was just ran by a few people, which is always good vibes. It wasn't some like big corporate thing. They only had about five guitars upstairs, but one of them was a 1985 Squire SST Strat with the kind of 70s style logo, which looked really cool. Played it and it played awesome. So we picked it up, love finding stuff like this and love stopping in small stores like this that you can tell are just run by a really small team, not some big corporation. Now it's on to the next one.
it's got a cat on it. Oh, there you go, cat. Tim Armstrong. So that was Otagira, which was a really, really cool small shop. He had some very nice high-end pieces in there, as well as a 2004 Gibson Les Paul Standard with a really crazy flame top. So ended up playing it. It played really, really good. It just had such a cool vibe to it. It wasn't mint. It had plenty of uh, signs of wear and whatnot, but very cool guitar, and we're very happy to be bringing it back to you guys. He's super cool, so go in there and talk to that gentleman. He's great. Oh, you can get the Strat version. See, they're both cool, but I, something about the red one is more interesting to me with the Jazzmaster. They're both cool. So this was the Yamano Music Rock Inn in the Namda City Mall. This is the first time that we've been in a Yamano Music as when we were in Tokyo last year. Uh, the location in Ginza noted that they only sell like classical instruments now. They're not doing guitars anymore. Um, and we're obviously very fond of all the Yamano hand-selected Gibsons that we get from the 90s and 2000s. So we thought, come check it out. Looks like they don't do new Gibson anymore, or at least not at this location. But nonetheless, still a very cool store. Very comprehensive selection of more affordable stuff, I would say, but um, nothing in particular we were really after. They, they did have a cool J45 from 2002 that was from a run that we didn't get over in the States. So it was time to bring that over, but it would be pretty costly. So we'll let that one go and we are on to the next store. No, not no dice. I'm, I'm gonna look. They have a black orange TH100. Mm. Very hard to find amp. I suppose. You can, like you said, you can make anything anywhere. <laughs> All right, so Watanabe round two was a success. This is the second Watanabe location we've been in. We checked out one in Kyoto a couple days ago, and it was really cool. We didn't end up finding anything at the other one. There was lots of cool high-end stuff, but not as much used. But in this shop, we found two things. We found a really hard-to-find orange amp head, which was the TH100, and we found it in black. It's rare enough in orange, but the black one is like super hard to find, so very happy to find that here. And then we also found an older style Boss PH3 in the box, so you know we had to pick it up. And now we are on to the ESP shop that is right down the street. ESP custom shop. All these shops are making me realize why we find so much order made ESP because it's pretty easy to get something order made. So that's pretty cool. So that was the ESP shop where you can do, uh, they have custom, you can do custom order. They have tons of guitars and basses available there. They also do repairs. Tons of great stuff. If I was more than the metal stuff, I'm sure we would be picking some stuff up here, but well, I know a little bit, I don't know at all. And that there was stuff in there that I've never even seen before. So. Pretty cool shop, but it is on to the next one. They 
they have a base six. They know what they have. Amazing. That's what my guitar should look like. Except mine's all beat up. <laughs> but I don't care because it sounds great. That was crazy. There is so much nice stuff in this four-story building. A lot of stuff that I would love to grab for myself that is a little more than I can afford to spend at the moment. Yeah, some cool stuff. Nothing I saw that we really needed for the shop. Actually, except there's a few downstairs that I would have loved to grab. There was a Junior with a Tunematic and um, a few others that weren't for sale yet that would have been interesting for us, but couldn't buy them yet, so the hunt continues. All right, so we just left another Mikigaki location and this store was incredible. Um, they had one last Fender Sherwood Green Telecaster made here in Japan left and I bought it. And the, uh, the cashier had even noted, he's like, this is it. This is the last one we have in all of our inventory. So um, we bought one last time we were here at the Fender flagship. I have not seen another Sherwood Green Tele since we got here like a week or two ago or however long it's been. And you knew we had to have it. So it's on its way back. We are on our way to the next shop. just came down from Gently Top the Guitar. More of like a luthier repair type of shop, but he also made some guitars in there. Um, very traditional style stuff, nothing super out of the ordinary, but everything looked to be made well, and uh, it was a nice, cool little shop. There's a shop called Guitar Licks, so let's go check it out. Thanks to Acoustic Live Coffee House. Uh, like, <laughs> not for sale. Oh, no, <laughs> <Sorry>. okay. No, <laughs> no. These are mine. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I would do the same. <laughs> a beautiful collection. It's just amazing. Seriously. <laughs> so that was Guitar Licks, which absolutely blew all of us away. As soon as I opened the door, I just saw one of those beautiful vintage collections I've ever seen. Everything was like A-tier stuff and in really, really nice shape. It's definitely stuff to aspire to in there. It's awesome. Uh, they had some cool vintage boss pedals as well that I asked about, but he said those were part of his personal collection, so he wasn't wanting to sell it. And uh, it sounded like a lot of that was probably more so his personal stuff. Uh, but he had a few for sale in there, so it was really, really cool. If you're in the market for like high, high, high end, I would check this out. But um, yeah, it's all really crazy stuff in there. I was a bit worried if it was somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> Just like, who is this guy filming us?
this is the most base sixes I've seen in one day in a very long time, if not ever, probably ever. I just left the Mikigaki base side. As I've been saying with a lot of these, super cool store, great selection. They had a ton of lefty bases, which really surprised me. They also had a pretty incredible selection of not only a new custom shop, but actually a lot of used custom shop. There was a really cool precision base and base six that I was personally into. Had to let them go as we can't buy it all, but they were, they were definitely up there. With that, we have actually concluded our Osaka guitar shopping. This took us two days. I think we went to almost 20 stores. I don't know, do we have a final count? We will. We will have a final count. We're gonna put it on the screen now. We went to a lot of stores, bought a lot of guitars, even bought an amp, bought some pedals all kinds of fun. So thank you guys so much for coming on the journey with us. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Um, let me know down below in the comments, what was your favorite thing you saw in this video or what was your favorite thing that we picked up? I know I personally have some favorites, but I'm really excited to get that orange TH100 head back to the shop and plug it into an orange 412 that we have right now, as I'm sure that's going to sound incredible. And it's been a while since we've had a nice orange head. So I'm very excited to play with that amp when we get back. We've seen the statistics and like most of you guys aren't subscribed. And if you guys wanted to do us a big favor and subscribe, that would really help us out and help us do more stuff like this. So if you're enjoying what we do, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share the video and all that stuff. It really does help us do more of these and we wanna do more. So let's make it happen. As always, we appreciate your time and we will see you guys in another video soon. Bye. And cars 15 and 16 offer passengers without seat reservations.